Okay, so while I physically have time to sit down and do this intro, I wanted to come and share Serenity's um, wash day routine. I try to only wash her hair once a month with shampoo. Any other wash throughout the month is a co-wash. So that includes um, detangling uh, from styles or whatnot. I try not to overwash her hair because it dries her hair out drastically and with the summer months it did not help as you will see throughout this video or in the beginning her hair is very dry very matted and I must do something because school starts so Monday um so without further ado we are going to get into this video Okay, so the purpose of today's wash is to reseal her hair and put more moisture back in her hair. So I will be using four different conditioners on her hair today, including the Just For Me pre pool Softening Detangler. Detangler. I'm so tired for some reason. Um, as I am, co-wash Pantene's co-wash Suave's. Uh, rosemary mint conditioner and for a deep conditioner I will be using a hot six oil treatment and um, mixed chicks deep conditioner um, as a process as you will see throughout I use gloves to help me not snag her hair my nails grow in layers as you can see and I've noticed that over time when I don't use gloves, her hair gets stuck between the layers of my nails and in my ring. And I don't like that it snags the hair and it keeps the hair from actually getting um, the product in it. Because my hands are soaking it up. So to keep from doing that, I just use gloves. And a forewarning, just because you use gloves does not mean your hands are going to stay dry. Your hands are still going to get wet. So don't think that this is a cure-all because it's not um, I'll be using this just you know for stability some clips um, a dimming brush and a whole whole bunch of water so we're gonna get into it okay as you can see her hair is extremely dry and frizzy As you can see this is a weeks or a couple of days worth of no moisturizer is matted in the back like this hair is in a full stride struggle so Alright, so I typically like to wet her hair thoroughly and make sure that I'm getting the middle because it gets extremely tangled and matted. And as I wet her hair, I try to section it off in four parts, which makes it easier for me to get all of the hair instead of just pieces of her hair and just the top of her hair. So I'm going to start by sectioning her hair off into four sections so that I can thoroughly work each product in her hair and finger detangle before I go in and use the dimming brush to detangle. I am going to use the Just For Me pre pool solution first to first finger detangle and work out some of those um, like knots and dry spots. And as you can see, I start from the top of her hair, like the scalp, and work my way down. As you can see here with the gloves on, I'm able to get maximum detangling efforts with just my hand and the product without hurting her. And I do like how this product really does get her hair prepared for washing. 
as you can see a side by side difference from the left to the right I do like using this product because it it keeps her from feeling like I'm just pulling the hair out her scalp but I do try to re-wet each section as I go on and I am going to stop talking now so that you can kind of get a gist of what I'm doing um, with the next couple of sections. Okay, so now that all four sections have I've worked through the pre poo solution, I am now going to rinse it out and start the first co-wash with the As I Am Coconut co-wash. Yeah. And in my finger detangling, all I got was just this little bitty amount of shedded hair. As you can see, I am scrubbing her scalp. However, I am rubbing the product down the shaft of her hair in order to make sure that her hair is all going in the same direction that is growing without disturbing the actual shaft of the hair, if that makes sense. For the second co-wash, I'm going to use the Pantene Pro-V Cold wash. Um, I could really live without this product on her hair. I do like the As I Am a lot better. Um, I was just trying something new and honestly, I, I could live without it. Now for the actual conditioning portion of this wash, I am going to first add the Hot 6 oil to her ends and scalp and then thoroughly work in the um, Suave Rosemary and Mint Conditioner. By doing this step, it allows me to lock in the moisture and when styling throughout the week, it helps her to retain moisture in her actual hair without me having to reapply products throughout the week. Now I'm going to go in with the dimming brush on this step now that I have the, the thick oil and the conditioner in to kind of detangle the hair for the last time. Please notice that I'm starting at the ends of her hair and working my way up to the root. Never start at the root of your daughter's natural hair and work your way down. Even with the conditioner and the oil, if you start at the root and work your way down, you will create a lot of pain, you will take out a lot of hair, and they will be very adamant to get up. So always remember to start at the ends of the baby's hair and work your way to the root. Now I'm just going to start on the other side and let you guys watch it again and see exactly what I did from the first side to the second side. And as you can see, the longer you let it sit, the bouncier the hair gets, the more the curls come back and the more refreshed your curls are. This is a process. It takes me about an hour and a half every time I wash her hair, uh, co-washing or actual wash days. So make sure you have your patience on hand 
when you get ready to try this method of washing. Okay, so we are officially done with her reconditioning wash day routine. Um, this officially concludes the video. Uh, now what I do is I either put her under the dryer or I just let her, you know, run around for a little bit with this um, cap on while the deep condition has a chance to work its way in <laughs> before I start styling and braiding her hair. Hello everybody. You know me. We do. Who are you? I'm Serenity. For <laughs> the other video. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Do you have any concluding words about your hair? Um. I think I'm gonna like it. And... Why do you fall asleep every time I do your hair? I don't know. I just get kind of tired. <laughs> All right. And say bye bye. Bye bye, everybody. And say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Mwah.